We got our liner. Dang, boys. Look at that. I'm excited. Hey, 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 no fighting, no fighting. Hey, no fighting. Both of you are gonna equally use this, okay? All right, so let's see here. Put the box aside. First things first. <laughs> oh my God, you guys are too much. Okay, so we got a new cargo liner. I have one for the Jeep, but I don't have one for my <clears throat> Nissan Rogue. Oh yeah. <laughs> So let's jump into this. Okay, so let's take a little bit closer look. Some of you may know I already have a liner for the Jeep Grand Cherokee, but this one's going to be perfect for the Nissan Rogue. Okay, so just a quick little bit about this one. It is multi-layered, polyester, cotton, non-slip backing, wear-proof, and waterproof coating. All right, got the Jeep cleaned out. And we are gonna see how it fits in here. Typically, we would probably wash this out. Um, it's actually a cover that we got from Jeep. Super, super easy. Actually, a little bit easier than some of the other cargo liners I've ever, we've had. Um, so in our Jeep, we have these tie downs, which we are using for this cargo liner. Um, my other liner that I have, you actually do tie it down, but it looks like you're supposed to be able to adjust let it dangle which is kind of actually a nice feature I don't mind it what I really do actually like is the fact that it does go up along the edges it doesn't go up all the way but look at that that's because we didn't have a cargo liner that went up all the way I'm sure it's bound to happen but you know just to give it a little bit of, a little bit more keep it intact um, I think if we would have had something like this that went up, we wouldn't have so much of that going on. Um, all of it falling you know, in the cracks. So, so far so good. Very easy. Just literally just roll it out. And then, I don't know what we're going to do with all this extra stuff, but it's kind of nice because A, you don't scratch up the copper. Chrome or something here, you probably would just scratch it up. I think when the boys are loaded up, you just flip it up like this. Like that. And I mean, it's no big deal. You could probably even tuck it under if you didn't, if you didn't like that feature. Just have it you know, come to the edge. It is, it is slit right here, so it's kind of nice. It's, it's a little bit more flexible. So you can see here, I just fold it nicely. If it didn't have the slit, I don't, I don't know if it would be as flexible. And that's how you do it. And you want to leave this open because the hook has to latch on there. And then, this is the situation we got going on here. So, lift your seat up, lift that up, and this is definitely going to be interesting. Let's see.
I think a spike cargo liner is actually went like this was bumped up and um, you can like push it back down but there was a drawstring tie to tie it there it just gives it like that extra fit that you need so maybe I need a fixed side over there but this side looks okay Let's see if I can fix that bunching. So I was worried that it wasn't like long enough. Maybe that's why it was bunching, but it definitely seems like it is long enough. So what I did is if you have your seats down, I mean, obviously with this one, because it's not split, you cannot have both like one side down and the other side not. Um, so that might be a problem for anyone who likes to like leave the bigger side up and the smaller side down. Um, actually, we do that a lot just because it gives the boys more room back there. Um, and then sometimes we'll put our like bags and stuff on this side when it's laid down or like the bed for them. And then that side will be up for like the third passenger. But all I'm going to do is, when you have your seat and you're like ready to pull it up, I think to fix it, you just kind of do this and hold it there. And then when your seat is pushed up, you just do that. And you can see that it's pretty much fixed. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. <laughs> let's let's compare app. Let's compare um, my situation to what is shown on the photo. <laughs> all right, so I got all of these down. All right, so you got that. think it looks like the picture I mean it's close I think there's like let's look at this okay so this is actually further back like right there maybe that's the problem is I didn't have it out enough but hmm just got to test it out with the boys so I think what I'm gonna do is leave this up like the seats up and test it out and see how the boys can get it feels durable I mean it's kind of like you know let's check out the underside the other side was kind of different so here is just plain like canvas kind of thin type of stuff. You know, you know like the stuff that you line the cabinets? That's what this reminds me of. And that goes up. Grab this. And um, this looks uh, load up the boys. Up! The boys!
water seems to just be rolling off. That's good. So far, so good. We just got done swimming. We had some fun. Stay there. Stay there. You all done? All gone? Just rolling off, but it's like soaking in a little bit. 